So hello everyone, my name is Stephanie and I run Fuchsia Pilates and this is Sue who has agreed to be part of the video session that I'm going to do. Um, what I'm going to talk about is a little bit about osteoporosis and osteopenia which is the precursor to osteoporosis but I just want to allude to uh, the prevention and management of osteoporosis in terms of what we can do in exercise. So eating a well-balanced nutritious diet of course is very important with calcium supplementation if required and then um, many people find they are prescribed bone meds as well and in some cases um, have been able to actually reverse their condition to a small degree. But what we do in our bone safe classes here in Edinburgh at Pentland Community Centre in Cameron House is we're using a lot of um, weight bearing through the body to strengthen our uh, muscles and joints and we're also using flexi bands and weights and magic circles just to build up our strength because that's so important. Um, strong muscles make for stronger bones. So what I'm going to do is just run through some of the exercises that we can do on this fantastic piece of equipment called the Pilates Reformer. Um, I think Sue found after the first session it actually helped her a little bit. Yes, it did, yeah. Definitely. So let's start, Sue. Mm -hmm. We'll start with um, sitting really tall. So what we really need to think about um, is extension through the spine. Think of the three L's, long, lengthened and lifted. Okay, the core is paramount, so we're building on core strength all the time. And the first exercise we're going to, to demonstrate is um, this exercise where we are building up strong muscles and um, joints in our shoulders and our arms. Now, the actual position of the feet, the knees, the hips, the back is very, very important, as is the positioning of the chin. And then we have to take time just to recruit the core muscles, pelvic floor and our big corset muscle, the TVA, which runs round the front and spans into the back, supporting your lower back. So are we ready soon? Yes. We're going to breathe in and then as you exhale, you're going to pull the arms forward in front of you. Pull the arms forward in front. Beautiful. Bring the arms out to the side. Open up the front of your chest and your shoulders. Bring the arms forward again. And then pull your elbows back into your sides towards your waist. Can we do it one more time? Breathe in and open. Beautiful. Exhale and bring the arms down. Good. One more time. You're doing really well. Really well. The breathing is very important because it controls the core, the coordination and the core activation which is known as centering in Pilates. Well done. Shall we move on to our next one yes. now? Okay. So for our next exercise, we're going to be really working our core. So I'll just, just hop off in the room time here. And we're going to do a little bit of back extension. So strengthen the thoracic spine. And the thoracic spine is a common place for crush for fractures. So we really want to, again, think about strengthening the posterior muscles in and fight gravity because as we get on in life, gravity pulls us forward and we don't want to end up with a stoop or a rounded back. So, shall we hop on? Mm -hmm. Sit and just place your hands here. So what we're wanting to do is really lengthen through the legs, slide the shoulders down, 
pull your tummy lightly in and we'll start with just doing a few gentle shoulder stretches so just pushing away so all these springs on the reformer are have have got different weights and intensities and they actually really make you work hard do you feel that <laughs> so we're going to breathe out as we push away that's the hardest part of the exercise and inhale as we allow the carriage to come in so it works on a system of springs and pulleys now hold it there because as we come in now we're going to slide your shoulders down lift send your breastbone forward crown of the head forward into a very gentle back extension where we're really strengthening these posterior muscles here push away again and we'll do four more. Breathe in and exhale and push away. And really lengthen your legs. See if you can keep the legs lifted. Well done. Two more. And last one. Good, well done. You see she's becoming a lot more confident, a bit stronger as she comes up that little bit higher, but still keeping the lower ribs connected down to the box. Well done, very good. So take your time and let's come off the box there. And we're going to do the um, four point knee stretch. So this is four point exercise which is a really good one for osteoporosis. Um, Sue is going to really have to work her core, her inner core muscles, but also strengthen the wrists because the wrists are also a common site of fracture as well. So we want to be really strong. So again we're going to draw the shoulders down. You're going to breathe in Activate your core muscles and just lift your knees just off the carriage, just off the carriage and hold, hold, hold and breathe in and breathe out. Good. Now can you start to push the carriage away and then come back in slightly tucking under with the tailbone and push away. You're doing really well because I know this is very hard. One more time. And slowly with control, bring your knees down. <laughs> How was that? Yes, that was, was that quite challenging. <laughs> so the last one we're going to demonstrate is a balance exercise called Eve's Lunge. And as you know, being able to stand on one leg for 20 to 30 seconds is what we're aiming to do. So uh, let me just show you this one. So one foot is against the shoulder pad and the other foot is forward, and we'll try putting our hands onto the foot bar first, or one hand onto the foot bar and the other hand behind, and push back, push back, so you're strengthening your hips as well, and all the musculature around the hips, and then come back in. So again, we're going to breathe in to prepare, and exhale to push away, push, 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 and inhale back. And two more. Now the next variation just demonstrates balance. So can you, Sue, take both hands off, hands on the hips, and see if we can repeat this with one leg. One leg pushing down onto the floor as the other leg pushes the carriage out. And then come back in and exhale as you push away. Now notice how beautiful and tall, just lower your chin a wee bit, that's it. Keep your eye gaze slightly down towards the cupboard there and come back in. Is it a bit trickier, Sue? Mm -hmm. No hands. Last time. Bend that forward knee a little bit more, that's it. See if you can bring it into more of a lunge position, that's it. And push back and hold. And then slowly let the carriage come back in. Well done. And have a wee seat. Um, what I want to um, let you 
think about is about forward flexion. So there are traditional exercises in Pilates, like the rollover, where you're bringing your feet over your head. There's the seated roll back and roll up. There are the traditional abdominal crunches where you're bringing your head and upper body forward into flexion. These are not recommended if you have osteopenia uh, leads, leading to osteoporosis. So I have to think very much about modifying some of the exercises so that they are safe and effective to do. So, if you're interested in coming along to a bone safe class where our aim is to be as strong as we can be, contact me on fuchsiapilates.com. Thank you for listening.